We're going to review the USA um, v. Ghana game and just kind of go over, first of all, how what happened. What happened in that game? Uh, why did we lose? And, of course, there are a lot of people out there who think this is the end of the world, so we'll address that as well. But, Brett, why don't we just start off with um, the discussion with the lineup and some of your uh, concerns right then and there when the lineup was announced. Well... From, from the get-go, I've been a big Bob Bradley supporter. I have supported everything. You know, I've defended him. I've explained situations. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out why he started Clark over Edu. Yeah, it just doesn't make can. sense to me. Clark has not shown anything since, <laughs> since before the pre-World Cup uh, games. And he didn't play at all in 2010 up until the pre-World Cup games. And he just did not look. He did not look good. There was no reason he should have started over Adu, who did look good. That's right. And Adu had looked good for the, the, the two games before that. And it just seemed like a risk to put Clark in. I mean, even the goal versus England was a uh, mental error by Clark within the first ten minutes of the game. Here we are in the first six minutes of the game, another mental error by Clark. And then the big yellow card. I mean, we could all see that that yellow card was going to come soon because he was probably a little pissed off. But mm-hmm. um, I was going to say that, that the whole Clark decision was was a bad one, yes. But then again, even as he lost the ball at midfield, I didn't see, um, number one, Bradley getting back fast enough to help out. I saw Demerit backpedal way too much and um, just leave that, uh, that move to the left uh, by Guillen open. And, of course, I'm not sure what Howard was doing. He might have just lost track of where he was in the goal, but he didn't cover uh, the short end. So you can blame it on a lot of guys as well, and not just Clark, but I agree with you. Bad decision right there with Clark. I agree with all that, except for I will take Michael out of the equation there. He was a good 5, 10 yards up on Clark because he was making the run forward, Mm -hmm. and he was a good 10 yards to the left. Mm Mm-hmm. To actually be able to catch back up when Clark could even catch back up, he did. Should I think that I think that basically should take him out of the equation as far as placing blame because he was moving up expecting the ball to be progressed up rather than Clark holding on to it too long and then losing it. Well, I agree with you, but if you watch the footage, to me it just seems Bradley kind of moseys back. Well, and, yeah, and I, it is because he was completely out of the play at the it, time. It's it's not his fault. No. I just I just would have liked liked to have seen a little more hustle on that play, maybe to get back and cover uh, Boca Negra's spot so Boca Negra could shift over and help out Demerit. But really, that could be a good statement right there. Yeah, yeah. Demerit's backpedaling was really what did us in. At some point, you've got to stand your ground and say, "Hey, either you're going to go around me, or I'm taking you out outside the box." Which as, yeah, yeah, as, as go- they te- as they teach at the youth level, yep. either the ball gets by me or the person gets by me, not both. Exactly. So Demerit needed to hold his ground outside that box, which he did not do, and either tackled him outside the box, um, but never, ever let a guy go by you because you're backpedaling too much. Well, and I, I don't know if, uh, if you've noticed this, for all the games from pre-World Cup up until the Ghana game, the one thing that our defense and our midfield did not do well at all is pressuring the ball when they were they all were backpedaling they were giving them way too much space and yep. i don't know how many goals came from the long distance shot yeah it's it happens and it's it's something that i can't believe was not addressed well maybe you know, somebody's got to get up there and you know apply pressure or some outs why do something maybe the thought is kind of like in basketball you know okay we'll we'll give them the outside shot but we're not letting them take it to the hole and um because we backed up so much. We actually, ironically, allowed them to take it to the hole in both cases, both goals uh, in versus Ghana. The second one, Boca Negra, um, instead of uh, of making sure he got his body in front of uh, Guion, uh, tried to go for the ball and head it. And you'll notice he doesn't get it. And after that, he's screwed because there's no way Demerit's going to be able to get back in time to help. Again, that's a mental error. And so, I, listen, you know, I love this team, but we're, we have to point out where the mistakes were, and that's all I'm doing right now. And that, that you know what, we would make a couple of, uh, of errors throughout every single game, and we would always get punished for them. Right. At that level, you can't do it. And I think even Donovan mentioned that. Mm-hmm. 
But uh, other lineup errors, Finley, you didn't like that one. No, and I can understand. Some, some people will argue that Bob's using him for a speed to open up the defense. But I just haven't been that impressed with him. He might turn into a decent, if not a, a quality, uh, international striker for the U.S. to be used as a super sub or whatever. But he's not at that level right now. I think having a Buttle start with Josie or even bringing in Gomez again, because I thought Gomez did well with uh, Josie against uh, Al- Algeria. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think those would have been better options. Um I don't know why the two strikers who've been scoring all the goals before the World Cup didn't get to start it. Like, didn't get to play much at all. Mm-hmm. Like that Buttle? doesn't make much sense to me. Oh, you're talking about Buttle as well. Buttle and Buttle and Gomez. Those seem to be our biggest goal scorers throughout the three uh, warm-up games. Well, Bradley Bradley seems to be hooked on speed, and I don't mean that uh, <laughs> <laughs> in a in a junky kind of way. I'm just saying that you know what he really theoretically wanted to do, and I think we all see this is. He wanted to have um, Davies Light in there, and that's what he got. But the problem is that he got Davies Light and Low Cal, and <laughs> um, Robbie Finley couldn't finish to save his life. Nope. There's four, four decisions on his part, for the most part, in my opinion. And he went down so. too easy throughout the World Cup, mm-hmm. um, way too easy. That's the thing about Charlie Davies also. He's muscular. He's a strong guy, and you won't. You're not going to just push Charlie Davies over. Finley would take a shoulder check. Boop, he's down. Lost the ball. Ball going the other way. How many opportunities did Finley have to turn and bust it down the field with one guy in front of him? And where you think he would have used that speed to just blow by a guy, and the guy just gave him a little shoulder, and and Robbie fell to the ground. And now, what is Robbie's future? I don't think he has one on the United States national team. I'm not saying that to be cruel. I'm just saying because he's not strong enough. You you have to be strong and fast at this level. You can't just be fast. If, if it all it took was speed, there would be a lot of sprinters playing soccer. But they're, mm-hmm. they're, they don't because a lot of them don't have the skill and they don't have the muscular uh, build to take a shoulder check from a six foot two center back. So that's... Uh, those are the lineup complaints. Um, that's not much, really, if you look at it. Okay, two guys we didn't agree with. I mean, some people would have complained about Bornstein, but let's face it, Bornstein wasn't the problem. If anything, pushing Boca to the center and putting Bor- uh, Bornstein out left improved our defense despite the fact that we still let in the early goal. Yeah, um, We still had the uh, mental errors and everything, but bornstein was uh, in my opinion was more solid of a defender than gooch was so it was less of a liability to put him back there yeah it was a risk but it turned out it turned out to work 